customers reported this year it was across the, uh, the um, ice builder. As you can see, it's all the way back to the compressor. And the second unit, which is on the same ice builder, is uh, actually that's stone cold. I think the only heat in the bottom is off the possibly off the crankcase heater, so we've got power to it. It's not running. Um, let's go inside and have a look. That coil's warm, so it's asking for it to be running. That is warm, and it's not running. So the problem is probably the ice bank controls on this circuit, which has failed, and this one's just never going to turn off until it freezes all the way across. Too bad down there, but further back is probably a solid block. And this side, still has bare pipes. Pretty much the only things that can stop this are the pressure switch and the overloads. Um, but looking at the state of that feasible plug. That solder should be flush with this. It should not have that all there. So that, that has pushed all that out, as chances are. Uh, there's cobwebs on there, it might have been like that for a while. Get in and check the pressure switch. That's um Live into the pressure switch. And that's live out, so it appears to be off on the pressure switch. Um, so we've got our gauges on. It's R22, so we shouldn't be putting our gauges on really unless we're going to convert the system to something else. But, um, yeah, there's nothing on that side. gauges on there. It's flat on both sides on zero. Just as I put it in, I had about 50 psi in this, this line. When I opened the valve it blew a little bubble out of here so that's definitely what's happened. Um, the plug should look like that for comparison. That solder's moved out. Um, like it's on R22, so we've got to convert it to something else. So I think I'll put a new plug in there, put some nitrogen in, and make sure the rest of the system's uh, leak tight, and then uh, see what we've got on the van. Um, I don't know if I've got enough 407F to do this because I did use a load the other day. I haven't been to the wholesaler since. The van's been off the road where the prop shaft has gone wrong. It's been off the road most of the week. I don't think that plug was going to come out then. Um, they mount these receivers, they just sit them on the base and they put this really thin steel strap with one bolt down here and it goes into a keyway down there. And that's it. There's no mounting feet, it's not really solidly mounted, it just sits there. When you go to turn this, the whole thing wants to spin or twist. So I've got to get a chain wrench around the boss here to uh, get something to work against. Um, I've got it come undone now. Um, it did feel like the brass was twisting to start with. That's something I'm always a bit wary of for these things. Um, when you've had that much. Oh, look at that, that's different. Normally it pushes the whole lot out, so it must be hollow inside, but when you look how thin that brass is, when it's full of sole it's got quite a bit of strength to it, but once they've gone hollow, here we can get this, the old sealant cleaned out of there, 
um, get a new plug in, put some nitrogen in there. Just looked in the van, I don't think we've got enough 407 to do this, so it might have to wait until Monday unless we've got some in the stores. Um, so I expect this will hold sort of six or seven kilos. And I think I've probably only got about one or two. But um, we can get the plug changed, put, put some nitrogen in there, and then when we come back at least we know we haven't got any other leaks. Expansion rails up a bit. It's all that different gas. Um, do you want more to turn on? That's one turn, half a turn on. Something like that. You can hear that here the flow's increased. So it's all the way down on that row, and then it should come all the way back up on the other one. So you just want to get just a little tiny bit of ice on here. So you set those up, 